What's up, YouTube? Thanks for kicking it with me today, and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Fashion Tip Fridays. The topic of today's video is boat shoes. Yes, sir. This week, I decided to investigate, to learn, and to get an idea of how much boat shoes are trending in 2020. So I decided to dive into the world of Reddit. And I wanted to ask my fellow Redditors, what were their opinions on bow shoes? I got some awesome opinions and tips and some insightful comments, so I thought I'd share them. Metcalfrey says, not in or trendy, not necessarily a bad choice depending on your personal circumstances and aesthetic, but not fashionable in that sense. Bond, James Bond says, I wouldn't say they're currently trendy. That doesn't mean you can't wear them. Pretty self-explanatory comment. No rules to fashion, just wear what you want. Anthrax is taken, says. My thoughts on them is that any outfit with bow shoes would look better with a pair of real box a la Yuka 10. If you don't know what Yuka 10 is, neither did I, so I had to look it up. Basically, they're a brand that focuses on making real fine leather shoes and luggage. And looking at their website, it looks like they have real good quality stuff, but you're really looking at a high price range of $300 and up. That is obviously a pretty high tier compared to my $49 Sperry's. But let me know in the comments below if any of you have any experience or own any pieces from Yuka 10, and let me know if the $300 plus price point justifies what you get. User Terminal E says, They are kind of limited. They look corny with socks, whereas loafers can be worn with or without socks and therefore worn for more of the year. So what I think this poster is getting at is that loafers in general seem to be more versatile and they go better with more things. They look better with socks uh, and they're more year round versus bow shoes here are a lot more limited. In his opinion, you can't style them as easily. They don't look as good with socks compared to loafers. And his opinion is that loafers outclass the bow shoes. I think that's what he's getting with that. But I could kind of see where he's coming from. So Mama Tara says, I disagree with most replies here, which isn't common. When you are wearing shorts and with a vacation shirt and you aren't wearing socks and you don't have to wear jandals or sandals or slippers, boat shoes is the best choice. I didn't know what jandals was, so I had to look it up. Apparently jandals is a slang term for Japanese sandals and it's commonly used in New Zealand. I had to look that up, but anyways, I agree. I like this look a lot actually, and it's definitely a summer staple outfit. The vacation shirt with shorts is always a good look for any day on the beach, a nice summer day out, going out for brunch, or just chilling by the pool. And I really don't see anything wrong with it. It's a classic look. Marge the Instigator says, I am a fan of bow shoes. They definitely lean preppy, which can have a certain negative connotation to some people, but I think they look good with sand colored chinos, light wash jeans, or just a pair of khaki or navy shorts and a t-shirt. They are casual and kind of fill the summer role of a casual chuck of boots to me. I prefer my tassel or penny loafers overall, but sometimes it is nice to have a pair of shoes to take a dog on a walk with, wear down to the pool, or on a casual outside date with the wife where I don't have to worry about scuffing or getting them dirty. Again, that's another style or look that I like personally. I think, however, though, when it comes to wearing long pants like chinos or jeans with both shoes, it's a little tricky in a sense where you have to really get the tailored pair of pants perfect. The pants just have to be tailored perfectly. If they're too baggy or too slim, it won't look great. If they are too long or too short, they also won't look great. Again, they have to be tailored perfectly where you just show a very slight bit of ankle and then it can be pulled off well. But getting the perfect tailor to the pants is the hardest part. Pipkin42 says, Boat shoes are out, O-U-T, out. Get some mocks or penny loafers instead. He also provides a little link that uh, sends you to an algorithm, so let's check that out. Hey, it's spring. Should I buy some boat shoes? Do you already have boat shoes? Uh, yes, I do. Are they in reasonable condition? Yes, they are. I barely wore them. Uh, result? Nah. Buy some loafers. <laughs> well, there you go. I guess according to the algorithm, as well as some other Redditors stated earlier, I should be going with loafers instead of bow shoes. George Ragula 05 says, They're fine, so people really dislike them. Here is an old thread on some of the reasons some people dislike them. I personally prefer loafers and slippers over bow shoes. 
So I decided to follow the link and it leads to a post from six years ago. I would say some of this stuff is a little outdated now, but there's still some really valuable opinions and information here that I wanted to share. A reasonable poster six years ago, he says, I think it's the mix of total ubiquity right now with leftover class resentments that went along with them. Their adoption as a frat boy staple can be linked to the general aura of embracing privilege through weird affections of nautical life in Northeastern culture in general. Even from weird dudes in the Midwest or South who have never looked directly at an ocean. <laughs> but I totally wish it was acceptable to yell at everybody for not living up to their shoes. So that brings up another topic of discussion in fashion is the concept of living up to what you're wearing. For example, should non-skateboarders or people who don't skate be wearing skating shoes? If you're not a fan of a certain band or musician, are you allowed to wear their merch? If you're not a fan of a certain sports team or you're not from that city, are you allowed to wear their jerseys and their hats? And is it okay for me or you to wear and own bow shoes even though I don't have a boat? Let me know what you think in the comments below with this one. Proof <laughs> says, The reason behind this mindset is essentially what you said. The association of boat shoes with the preppy look or frat scene or whatever other scene people associate it with, which is in turn associated with douchiness. Whether or not that's valid or not is beside the point. Association has a strong effect on how items are viewed. Association is a big part of the reason brands like a and and Hollister are detested by a lot of people. Of course, people will come up with other reasons that certain things are bad, like quality or aesthetics, but I would argue that one of the biggest reasons of hate for a certain product is what the person thinks is a target audience or the user base of that product. Some people don't like to admit it, but seeing people you like or admire using certain products makes you more likely to view that product favorable, while seeing people you don't like or seeing people you dislike leads to the opposite situation. I think this is a great comment and I could totally resonate with this. My example personally is LeBron James. I think he's a great athlete and I understand what he's done for the sport of basketball, but for some reason I'm just not a fan of him or his personality, but I'm not sure if it's just the way he's portrayed by the media or not, but either way, there's this level of, I don't dislike him, but I'm just not a fan of his. And for that reason, I feel like I just can't gravitate towards his sneakers or his clothing or anything associated with his brand. But I don't know, I guess that's just how it is for me. Give me an example of how this concept applies to your current taste and style. So coming back to the bow shoes, I can see how that concept applies for people's dislike or distaste in bow shoe style. There's a social connotation that it's associated with rich people or spoiled people because a lot of frat boys have been wearing it. There's a level of association with the douchiness, du douchiness, douchiness. <laughs> so for that reason alone, a lot of people might not like the bow shoe look just because of its social connotations. All right, so some awesome comments and opinions from my fellow Redditors. And I think the general takeaway here today is that the general public seems to find the bow shoes as not trendy. Obviously, you can wear whatever you want and do whatever you like, but the general population will agree that there are better options out there than the bow shoes. If you're looking to go for a preppy, classy style, then a lot of people will recommend that you go with the loafers and the mocks instead of the bow shoes. And there's a general understanding that the people that dislike the bow shoes look is because of its social connotations with the spoiled, the rich, and the douchey culture. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more content relating to sneakers and fashion, consider subscribing to my channel. Check out these two videos here and here for my previous episodes of Fashion Tip Fridays. I'll be doing Fashion Tip Fridays about every other Friday, so again, consider subscribing to see the next episode. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Peace.